Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird, and welcome back to this cringy-ass furry game. Without any further ado, let's just jump into it. Which one was I on? This one. <sighs> the trail around the campsite was a wide circle through the trees, mostly keeping at a respectable distance from the clearings set out for the campers. It wasn't too late into the night, and we pa paced. And we passed families and other campers sitting around their own campfires, sharing laughs and fun times. It was a quiet night in general, and the stroll was mostly on an opportunity to have a private breathe breather with Lex. We hit the central area of the camp where the show shower shower where the shower block and toilets were, and passed through a small parking lot for those camping spots off the broader path we'd use to drive right onto our own spot. The campsite was... The campsite seemed pretty... pretty well maintained, but at least half of the spaces were empty. Maybe it was a little too early in the season for it. A lot of kids were still in school. On the way back towards our camp space, we passed another group of guys our age who were quietly playing what seemed to be a metal track from a radio. See, we're not the only alternative group here. I didn't get to finish that, but okay. No one else seems to have a bucket list of chicken, though. A bucket list. A... Not okay. A bucket list of chicken. WHAT EVEN IS THAT?! No one else seems to have a bucket of chicken though, so I think we won coolest campsite. Ha! Hell yeah! So, Jaybird, this working out? I mean, as, like, a date and stuff? What? Come on, I'm trying with that stuff. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Lex, but yes, I'm happy to be here with you. This was a- this was a neat idea. It kind of beats passing out on the couch again. Not that I don't appreciate that, too. You did good, Lex. Don't worry about it. Lex sighed, reassured, and held their hand out for me to take as we walked. See, we got to skip through the woods singing tra-la-la. Tra-la-la! -la. There you go. Don't say I don't know how to be girly and romantic. Hey, quit it. I came up to talk to you that first night when you were cussing out your phone and smoking in an alleyway. I don't need you to be someone you're not, Lex. Yeah, yeah, I know. Lex squeezed my fingers. Oh, don't squeeze too hard, you might make them pop off. For the record, I miss you this week. The husky stopped in the path and tugged my arm a little to make me stop and turn back to them. We stopped in the middle of the path and Lex leaned in to kiss me with the same low burning ember of passion that they'd given in my hallway the other night, tilting my head with a finger leaning in. They broke the kiss and smirked. There, ice broken? I can stop fr can I stop freaking out about the about it being a shitty friend girlfriend, whatever person yet? Lex? I caught their jacket before they could move away and start walking back to the camp. A playful grin on my face as I forced the flustered husky to stay there and deal with their kissing for a moment longer. You're too much of a badass to be a pussy about this, so kiss me properly before we have to go back. They looked shocked for a moment before relenting and tilting in to kiss me properly. It's not to the right as I tilted left. I found that new piercing to play with, rolling it with my tongue. Ew! What the fuck? Oh. Oh, oh, the tongue, the tongue piercing, god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was talking about this, I'm like, what? Ew! <laughs> no. Lex let out a playful moan as our bodies collided on every scale. They tugged me close, pressing together for warmth as we laughed and <laughs> rolled our tongue against each other, against the others on the relative seclusion of the path. Okay. Thank you for the graphic description about that. Now I'm gonna need some bleach. I need to bleach my soul. <sighs> Sorry. After a moment that could have been an hour, half an hour, 
A half hour? Lux broke the kiss with a grunt, wiping their glassy lips. My mouth was tingling from the intensity of the union. Jaber, don't call me a fucking pussy again or I'll kick your ass. I might like that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Come on, come and get it. Oh, really now? Lux guided me off the path, back up against one of the large trees with their hands on my hips, pushing my ass up against the trunk. What? Oh my god! Am I gonna get raped? I don't know. Am I gonna get fucked? You wanna fight for Queen Dyke, baby? Cause, because that crown is mine. Queen Dyke. Lex kissed me again with a rough and with a rough and punctuating passion as her fingers laced together behind my back and pulled us hip to hip. After a moment, Lex let go of my lip, my hips, my hips, my hips. They placed a more gentle kiss on my cheek as they chuckled through unsteady breath. Ugh, fuck. I guess we shouldn't fuck up against a tree for our first time. Trust me, I like naughty and all, but... <laughs> you don't want to fuck me against a tree, how dare you? But it's best not to get run off by another security guard, I guess. Yeah, okay. You escape your beating on that pussy comment for now. Wait, what? You escape your beating on that pussy comment for now. What? What? Why did I say that? Lex gave me one hug to ensure that I would be thinking about our private tent for the rest of the attempt. For the rest of the attempt to socialize with her friends. Lex stepped back onto the pa path, pulling the pants up a little. I, <laughs> I followed them back towards the camp, feeling tea. Feeling teased in all the best ways as Lex lit up a cigarette. Staring at my ass back there. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not! You bet I am. Oh my god. This is just. Ter this is going down south. There's no. This is not romance. This is just. Uh, mm, never mind. I don't want to finish that. Lex shook the curb of the rump in those fashionably tight jeans, and I quickened my step to catch up and slip my hand into their back pocket as we walked. Glad to see Lex had the same look of blissful, of blissful tension as they tempted our self-control with one last kiss. Returning to the campground, the group gave a playful cheer. It was truly dark now, not just the hazy darkness a few hours after the sun had set, and the fire was a lot more welcome. I was blushing pretty hard and glad for the darkness and severe l light of the fire to hide the fact that as we sat back down together and Lex passed me a beer, sidling up so we were hip to hip without much concern for Casey's playful smirk. Oh my god, that fucking scared me! Did you see that? It fucking glitched! She's like, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm great at describing things, but you guys saw that, right? The traveler, the, uh, the traveler is returning. You missed the first pa six pack of beer, bear moon. Please don't, please don't let your head call, fall off of this uh, uh, of your body, or your body be not have a head. Yes, I am good at English. No great loss then. So, here we all are again. Jaybird, you've played Easy Way, Hard Way with Lex before, right? So how about Truth or Dare? Spooky woods, lots of booze, sounds like the best way to bring a few good stories out of the newbie. <laughs> maybe. Sure, I'm game for a little while. I don't want to get too fucked up tonight, though. Hit me. Truce. Oh, did you see that? That fucking scared me, too. Lex, how far have you and Jaybird <laughs> dare then, and don't just dare me to dare me to tell you, or to reenact it, or to have a body because I don't need a body. <laughs> I'm Lex. I choose whether I want to have a body or not. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I did. Though. Ah! <laughs> Dying. I'm a bit late for stupid dares that won't get us kicked out. Fine, I dare you to make the pizza run tomorrow in my outfit, bra and everything. 
That I'd pay to see. You're on, but I dare you to sit around the camp noodle, I'd do it. Uh. <laughs> this is why I love camping with you two. So, Jaber, to their day. Oh, shit. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just some very shit. Uh, let's go with. Da -da 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 -da. Time to drink something gooey! It's all about how. How about you tell us how you feel about this little. about little Lexi here? Okay. Okay. I don't know what I picked. But we're, they're a good friend. I'm not gonna burn Slex. Dare. Okay, dare. Um. Hmm. Let's say I really like Lex. Lex kind of swept me along since that first night, but I really respect them. You all are pretty cool, and I'd still be kicking my heels at home wishing I had a little excitement in my life if it wasn't for- I didn't get to finish that, can I load that? That's close enough to saying it for me, everybody has to drink! Lex flushed and looked like they might push me off a log, but they worked up the courage to kiss me quickly. Love you too, you fucking dork. <laughs> I love you when you're- your disembodied head. It's just beautiful. The others let out a rowdy cheer as we toasted each other. Cute. The, the game of truth or dare didn't run too late, though Casey and Jade did end up in the game of waterfall that lasted multiple beers. The game was about to turn sexual, with Taylor and Jade mutually challenging each other to a pantsless race to the showers and back. But when our giggling and music caused a couple of mutters from nearby campsites, it forced us to quiet and quieten down. It was after midnight that the fires started dying down and we decided to retire into the tents to escape the cooling night. We stole the speakers to run quietly in our cozy little tent and made our good nights before sealing ourselves in. Oh my god. We kicked off our boots at the door and scrambled about on the unstable inflatable mattress that made our little mound of blankets and back backpacks feel like we'd set up our bed inside a bounce house. We wobbled about, this time mostly not due to the drink, shivering a little against the cool night as we clambered under the covers fully clothed. Under the thick covers, we started to warm up and Lex's teeth quickly stopped clattering. As I hugged up to my side and I stroked their arm to help them warm up. It was a little strange to be in a bed fully clothed, especially with jackets on, but the small space would heat quickly. I didn't know if Lex, was t if Lex was tired. It was hard to judge as we hugged close to conserve heat, but I certainly wasn't. After our playtime out in the woods, even the cool latex cove of our tent couldn't douse. I didn't get to finish that! Thank you! Lex smelled most of all most of all of the fire with a hint of car caramelizing marshmallows. I suppose I probably smelled the same as Lex's snout and, s and nudged into my collarbone. No, nudged as Lex Lex's snout nudged into my collarbone. It was a shame not to get more of that woody, loose leaf tobacco smell that I'd started to associate with them. But I suppose it was being filtered out by the by, by the soot in my nose. A squeeze around my waist caught my attention as their snout peeked out from beneath the blankets to look up at me. They were smiling, snuggled close to my t-shirt for warmth. The, the contented smile was cute, peeking out, peeking out of the little cave Lex had made against my side. They held me close as I wrapped a leg around their own to pull us together, hands stroking their back. Okay. We lay there together, body seating the bed bedding for some time, just enjoying the other's closeness. Lex listened to my heartbeat through my chest. The blankets pulled so high that they were basically hidden in their own little blanket cove against me. The tight hug and the simple cuddle gave me comfort beyond the warmth as their fingers played along my back. 
I don't think you'd be into this whole s this whole stuff. I mean, cuddling, I mean. I muttered quietly, feeling the warmth of their body up against mine as they pet my back in return, snout resting against my arm and filling my t-shirt with the heat of their breath to warm me against the night. They snickered. I didn't get to finish that. Dude, everyone likes cuddling. Might not be a... Not, might not be great at the whole public display thing, but I'm not made of stone. Hey, you seem better at public stuff than most. Lex grinned and, and nipped my shirt, rolling their hands down to the waistband of my pants and then, then back up inside my top, their fingers on my bare flesh making me prickle for a moment as they invaded the warm layer with their cold touch. Oh my god! Does that remind me of someone? Fucking around when we're not supposed to is different. I don't know. When I feel like it's what I'm supposed to do, it's kind of harder for me going out to some fancy restaurant and having to act all lovey-dovey just kills the mood for me. Noted. The sound of our clothes coming unzipped and unbuttoned. <laughs> Worse so subtle as our light eyes locked in the low light of the tent. Oh my god. Dude, don't let me get cold. Hush. Come here. I don't know what's going on! censored version I thank god that was a this is the censored version on steam now there is a free patch for this game that is un that makes it uncensored oh my god I'm scarred for life! I didn't even see anything and I'm scarred. That was amazing, Lex. Fuck yeah, it was. I could use a comfier bed for next time, but maybe, but, uh, yeah, fuck. I love you, Lex. You're an amazing friend, Lex. Dude, we're gonna say I love you. You know I love you, right? I stroked down their side as we lay in repose. Yeah, yeah, I think I love you too. I smiled and leaned in so we could share another kiss. Our spent bodies pressing close in the hot tent as somewhere between the start of the kiss and the birds serving in the morning, we both fell asleep. In the morning, we slipped off to the showers. Not quite a walk of shame considering we snuck into the same cubicle, but definitely averting the eyes of the others a little. I'd already warmed up to them all pretty well, but we weren't exactly quiet the night before. I felt like this was the start of something great with Lex, and even though much of the morning had turned dark and wet, we s and we spent much of the day in Casey's tent playing cards and eating pizza, the rain called off many of the previous day's stairs. Getting to spend a whole weekend with Lex was, am was amazing. I returned home with the spring in my step and a few and a few little private bruises for to for Kobe to tease about. Yay! Congratulations! I didn't, I can't see it because the fucking Steve achievements in the way. Phew, hey, bud, it's been a while. God. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Well, first I'm gonna save this. Uh, right here. Yes, I'm very sure. Um. Can I contact Lex? Extra love scene? Ah, oh, no! Is that it? Let's see. You finished all the day. You finished all dates with Lex? Aww. Really? Wait. Can I just see this? Wait. Oh! Okay, that was it then. I guess... <laughs> I'm scarred. You know what? I hate 
at myself because now I'm like, I want to see the uncensored version. I swear to God, I'm not into furry porn, but I'm curious, okay? Okay, enough of that. Oh! Oh, really? Oh! Okay. I'm just gonna escape. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, well. Um... Back to home? Wait, what? Oh, oh, thank God. <sighs> well, I've seen enough for today, honestly, I swear to God. That being said, if you guys somehow enjoyed this episode of Amoris and would like to see, maybe would like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Oh god. Bye bye I need to bleach my eyes!